Good day everyone, today the Pokemon Scarlet game is now out and is now playable in both Nintendo Switch and into the PC. And if you want to play this game into the PC and you wanted to know how, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you. Because in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that. So what you need to do is that you need to have an installed Ryujinx emulator here. Ryujinx emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play any Nintendo Switch games as long as you have an installed this files into your Ujinx emulator. So you cannot play any game as long as you don't have this files installed to Ujinx. So before I begin the tutorial, I'm going to show you to, to you guys that I have Pokemon Scarlet here. It's the only game that is out now of out of the two versions. So Pokemon Scarlet is now available and playable and I have already played it. So I'm going to begin the tutorial now on how to get Ujinx emulator. So where you can get Ujinx emulator, to your web browser and just type in Ryujinx Simulator and hit search. The first result is Ryujinx.org. That is their official website. Click on that. And then go to the download page. Click on this. And then choose on which version you which system version you are using. If you are using Linux, then use Linux. And if you are in Windows, then download it from Windows. In this video tutorial, I am using a Windows 11 22H2 version and I'm going to skip on this part because download and installation process is really easy to do. So I'm going to minimize this and go back to Ujing Simulator. So what's the next step? If this is your first installation for Ujing Simulator, and I'm going to assume that you have already installed Ujing Simulator, you cannot and play any Nintendo Switch games yet because you will need to have and install these files. So what are these files, by the way? These files are the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys and the XCI file format of Pokemon Scarlet. So how can you get them? You can only get these files through, legally speaking, to a Nintendo Switch that you own. And that Nintendo Switch is modded and it has a custom firmware installed in it because if it has an install and uh, custom firmware then it has access to your Nintendo Switch system files. So you can just copy those system files into your PC such as the firmware and the keys here. And in order to get the game, you will need to own the Pokemon Scarlet game and you should digitally back it up into an XEI file format. Okay, so if you don't own a Nintendo Switch or if you own a Nintendo Switch but don't know how to do all the things that I've said, then I'm gonna save you the hassle and teach you on where to get all of these files in order for your Ryujinx emulator to play these games. So I'm going to minimize Ryujinx um, and I'm going to put a QR code here and open up your mobile device, use your mobile device and scan this QR code into your phone and you will be redirected to the page wherein you can download the firmware, the keys and the game into your mobile device and you can just transfer it and copy it into your PC via your USB hub. So. I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded a file and then we will now install them into you, your Ryujinx emulator. So go to Ryujinx and go to file and then go to open Ryujinx folder. And then the next step is go into system folder and then open the key zip file here or the RAR file. Then just drag and drop, copy and paste it to this folder, close this folder. And then go to tools, go to install firmware and install a firmware from XZI or zip file. Okay, so just click on the firmware version and then hit open. Then wait for the notification and say yes. Then it will say system version 15.01 is successfully installed. So your Ryujin emulator now is capable of booting up and playing Nintendo Switch games. So the next step now is to optimize your Ryujin emulator in order to play this Nintendo Switch games here. So go to options, go to settings, and then just pause the video and copy my settings from here on out. The game directories should be um, the folder wherein you will put your Nintendo Switch games and that game should be in XEI or NSP file format. But in this video tutorial, I'm using an XEI file format of Pokemon Scarlet. Then go to input tab. This is where you can control the game. You can use your keyboard and mouse, but I prefer that you will use your controller. If you have an Nintendo Switch Pro controller, just as mine, 
uh, it can be detected here and you can map it up. If you have PlayStation or Xbox, then you can use that and then hit save. Then go to the system files. And again, pause the video and copy my settings. Then graphics, graphics tab is the most important part. Then everything should be on and should be Vulkan. Then RTX graphics card. If you have RTX graphics card or your native graphics card, you should choose that in here and then enable shader cache. Then your native resolution. Mine is 1440p. So I'm going to hit apply. And as of that, um, your uh, Ryujin Simulator is now capable of playing any Nintendo Switch games. So a little bit of disclaimer. Um, I have Pokemon Scarlet here and I will not show you a short gameplay of it running in Ryujin Simulator because that will get me into trouble with Nintendo and YouTube. So if I show you that gameplay, then I will have my videos, tutorials, and my channel might be taken down because of that. So I hope you guys do understand on that part. But I'm going to boot up uh, Pokemon Scarlet into the title screen. And I'm just going to blur the title screen. And then stop the emulation from there on. Okay. So here we go. We're booting up. The game runs 30 FPS. And here's the title screen. So I'm just going to stop the emulation now. And with the latest Ryujinx emulator update, um, all the graphical bugs and issues with Pokemon Scarlet, like yesterday, is now all fixed. So you can play the game as you want. So I'm just going to minimize this. And if you have some questions, problems regarding on the installation process on this video tutorial, just please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. And please do subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye for now.